Sammy Okono was born in Sacramento, California in 1930 to Japanese parents in an environment and era where being of Asian descent created problems even for those with American citizenship. In 1943, President Franklin Roosevelt forced Tammy Okono, only 13 years old at the time, and his family into a prison camp during World War II for fear of espionage and sedition. The Kono family found themselves imprisoned at Tool Lake Prison Camp in Northern California. Tool Lake was notorious for being located in the middle of a desert with little hope for escape if prisoners refused to remain in their confines. The dry desert air at camp helped with Tamio's asthma, which finally allowed him to experience physical activity. Tamio found comfort in his neighbor's house adjacent to his own in camp and often took up weightlifting as a source of relieving stress. Though he did not know it yet, with each weight he lifted, he was also lifting the burdens off his family in the future. After a three and a half year imprisonment, the Konos were released and returned to Sacramento. Tamio, now going by Tommy, returned to school at Sacramento High, followed by Sacramento Junior College, which he finished in 1950. After finishing his education in 1951, Tommy was drafted into the Army for the Korean War, but kept off the front lines of action and served as a cook for, because of his identifiable Olympic potential. In 1952, with the Helsinki Olympics approaching, Kona was granted release from the Army to compete in the lightweight weightlifting competition. Here, Kono competed in the clean and press, squat, and clean and jerk competitions, setting a world record for the clean and jerk in his weight class, and earning a gold medal. After the games, Kono returned home to financial instability and fell victim to knee issues that were common among comparable athletes. To combat these physical issues, he invented compression sleeves tailored for knees, which he sells today, and also tweaked traditional exercises to lessen tension put on his ligaments and joints. Among these exercises, Kono invented the low bar squat, which is very successful and much more healthy. Additionally, he began training a front squat technique, which was intended to target the quadriceps more intensely. Given his knee problems, inconsistent growth and amounts of weight he could lift was common, which led to a new approach to his career. Kono decided that if he could not change how much he could lift, he would change how much he weighed and switch weight classes. He could reportedly gain and lose incredible amounts of weight, allowing him to move freely between weight classes and competitions, which led to him being the first and only athlete in the world to hold four world records in four different weight classes. Just two years before the Melbourne Olympics, Kono set another world record in the middle heavyweight class for clean and jerk. This built his confidence and set the stage for his appearance in Australia two years later. In Melbourne, Kono competed in the light heavyweight class changing weight classes again from Helsinki, set yet another world record for the clean and press, and won yet another gold medal. Four years later, after changing weight classes again, Kono competed in the 1960 Rome Olympics in the middle weight class, where he set his fourth world record and won a silver medal for the clean and jerk. After the 1960 Rome Olympics, Tommy wanted to focus on family. In 1962, he married Florence Rodriguez and eventually fathered three children, El Selena, Mike, and Tommy Jr. The Konos moved together to Aiea, Hawaii, where Tommy continued to pursue bodybuilding. Over the past six years, Kono was a one-time Mr. World and three-time Mr. Universe winner. During that time, he gained prominent media recognition, where a young Arnold Schwarzenegger saw him and was inspired to start lifting. In the mid-60s, Kono retired from being a professional athlete due to his continuing knee problems, increasing age, and because he had no other awards to win. In 1968, Kono began his coaching career for the Mexican weightlifting team for the Mexico City Olympics, where the team did not medal. For the 72 Munich Olympics, Kono moved on to coach the West German weightlifting team, where the team tied for sixth in medal count with one silver medal. He ended his coaching career at the 1976 Montreal Olympics with the U.S. weightlifting team. The Americans repeated success that the Germans experienced in 72, tying for six in medal count with one silver medal. At the end of Kono's weightlifting career, he set an amazing 37 American records, 8 Pan American records, 7 Olympic records, and 27 world records.
After his retirement from weightlifting, he saw a decline in the popularity of the sport. He blames this decline on European coaching methods that force athletes to lift twice a day five to six times a week. Kono has no doubt that the athletes do not want lifting as a job, which leads to a lack of interest in the sport. In the decades following his retirement, Kono was a member of the 1980 class inducted into the U.S. Olympic Hall of Fame. Two years later, in 1982, he became a member of the International Weightlifting Hall of Fame. That same year, the International Weightlifting Federation rated Tommy Kona the greatest weightlifter of all time. These three awards, along with a total of 74 records, winning four bodybuilding competitions and four Olympic medals, cemented Kono as the most prolific weightlifter of his time and arguably of any era. Subsequently, he was honored as the first and only weightlifter to be named to the 100 Golden Olympians list in the 1996 Atlantic Olympics. The Kono family can be found in Aiea, Hawaii, at their home where they reside with their three kids and oversee the Maui Barbell Club. He was recently brought back into the limelight as Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger honored him with a Lifetime Achievement Award at the Arnold's Weightlifting Classic Championship in 2016. In the case of Tommy Kono, a rose did not grow from the concrete, but rather from a desert. His determination to rise from humble beginnings in an era of discrimination in a land that resented him led to him still having achievements honored at the age of 85. One thing is certain, Tommy Kono is not only an international weightlifting icon, he is an American sports legend. While creating this piece on April 24, 2016, Tommy Kono passed away from a liver disease. His family still lives in Aiea, Hawaii, and his achievements will forever be remembered.